let's jump into the settings now. Uh, when we go into the about phone, we can see that we are on Oxygen OS 3.1.0. Then let's move on to the system updates now. As you can see, we have the Oxygen OS ready to install. The change log is not here, but I'll give the same change log in the description box down below. Just got the OTA that is 14th of September 2016. The file has already been downloaded. Now let's head on over to install and the phone will now get restarted. We will follow the exact process that OnePlus says for the OTA so you can see that. If you are not on community build, we have a we have a dedicated video that how you can come from the normal oxygen OS to the community build. Once you are on community build, you will get the OTAs like we have got. Every time there is a new community build that OnePlus sends out. So uh, if you want to get the community build on your phone, we will give the link in the description box down below. So you can follow the steps in that video and get the community build on your phone. And uh, remember the links to the community builds get uh, updated whenever there is a new community build. The older link gets deleted. So uh, if you want, if you are watching this video after some time, I will be updating the links in the description box, description box of both the videos. So you can check out the videos and then do the needful. So we have, we've clicked OK. So the system is getting updated. So this process is a bit slow, so we'll speed things up here. So once it gets... So it's done now, so the phone is re getting rebooted. So it's getting updated. Again this is slow, so we'll uh, speed things up here also. So it's, do so it's done now and the phone is getting booted uh, as it used to get. There's nothing new this time in the boot animation this time so uh, it's getting booted So the system Android is upgrading. So the apps are getting optimized over here. So we'll speed things up over here as well because this takes a lot of time. So the apps have got optimized and we have successfully booted into the system now. And uh, now let's go ahead and check what's new with the about phone options as this was not a big of a update but a minor update here and there. So let's go on uh, let's go on into the about phone options. So as you can see over here in the about phone options we have the oxygen OS 3.1.1 and also the Android security patch level has been updated to September 1st 2016. We, uh, what uh, the Android security patch level does is that it makes your phone safe from the world. So the next update that we have with this new update is that you can move your apps from the internal storage of your phone to the SD card. So this was what uh, OnePlus X users uh, were wanting from a really long time. We had got comments in the last video for the OnePlus X around a 5 to 6 comments uh, which asked us when will the apps be uh, when can the apps be moved to the SD card and thanks to OnePlus for including this in this new update and now you can successfully move your apps from your internal storage to the SD card I'll just show how you can do that uh, for one app we will also uh, make a dedicated video for moving apps from internal SD internal memory to the SD card which will let you know which all apps you can move from the internal SD card uh, internal storage to the external SD card 
so uh, for that do subscribe the channel and uh, i'll just show you what all you can transfer to uh, how you can transfer your apps to the sd card so let's take a example for book my show whenever i open uh, the settings and then i go to apps and then click on an individual app uh, i get a new option over here other than uninstall and force stop there's a new option added that's move to sd card this option was not there till the previous update this has been added to this update that's why the main hero of this update is the move to sd card option so you can just click on the uh, move to sd card option and then you can move the app successfully to your sd card so i'll just click on the option so that i can show you that it has been moved to the sd card so now you can see the app has been moved to the sd card and the app ha uh, the option has changed that move to phone so whenever you have the app on your phone it will show you the option to move it to the sd card and when it's on your sd card it will show you to move it to your phone so that's a really good option that they have included and now let's move the app back to the internal memory of the phone by clicking move to phone option so that we can show you that you can move the apps to the SD card and then back to the phone. So this was the major change in terms of this was the major change in the update. So uh, if you want to install this uh, via using a computer and if you're not on the community build i will uh, head on you can head on over to our previous video i will give the links in the description box down below and if you are already on the community build and you haven't received this update you can follow our previous video that will also be valid for you to install this update so that's pretty much it for this video this was pullin signing off